What's up everybody, it's your boy Mighty Go. We're back again with another Inner Life Baseball video. It's been a couple days since we've done one and I figured, uh, why not do another banger? That's right, by the title of the video, you guys know exactly what we're gonna be doing. A lot of people have wanted us to do this in the past, we just didn't do it, but we're gonna do it today, and that is seeing what is better, a cork baseball bat or a normal, traditional American baseball bat. If you guys don't know what a cork baseball bat is, uh, you might be living under a rock or you might not be a baseball fan, so let me explain it to you. Pretty much a normal baseball bat is all wood, but when you have a cork baseball bat, they drill a hole down and fill it up with cork to make the bat barrel spring off when the ball hits. It kind like a trampoline, I think. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's like the definition of it. And you might be wondering, hey, Mighty Go, how the F did you get a corked baseball bat? Well, we built it ourselves. That's right, I'm gonna take you in the past when we started building this thing. Take it over, past Andrew. All right, so we are in the garage. It might be a little echoey, but we don't really have a freaking choice. But yeah, we're gonna make this corked bat. We're gonna use a handy dandy Louisville Slugger. This thing has been used in so many videos, and I just figured it's the most deserving bat in our collection to get a face makeover or whatever and uh, become a cork bat. So this is what we're gonna do. I already tested to make sure the drill we have is powerful enough and we're just gonna drill a hole straight down the end and then we are going to fill it with cork and then we're going to glue that bad boy shut and then we're gonna go hit with it. So uh, yeah, hopefully I don't drill a hole through my hand, but let's do it. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start small with this one, and then once we get the hole all the way in, then we're gonna go to a bigger one and make the hole bigger. And then, uh, yeah, I've never made a cork bat before. I don't know if this is gonna work. There we go, the sound. But yeah, there you go, the hole is looking pretty good. We're gonna go to a bigger drill now, make the hole even bigger. All right, we went bigger. Hopefully this one uh, doesn't break my hand. So far it's been good so far. Oh yeah. That's the hole we got so far. I think we need it even bigger. One second. All right, I found this bad boy. I don't really know if this is uh, supposed to be used for this stuff, but uh, we're gonna try it out, F it. Okay, it's looking pretty good so far, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Literally a perfect circle. I don't know if that is actually wide enough for what we're doing, but it might be. I don't know, let's keep going. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't know why I got all caught like that. I wish I had a stand to hold the bat, but whatever. There's the hole. Let's cork this bad boy. What we're gonna be filling the corked bat up with is this corked yoga block or something like that. It was the only thing corked on Amazon, uh, so I figured we would just use it. And it is like just like wine cork, so we're gonna shave it down, fill the end up with cork, and then uh, I guess glue it, let it dry, and then go hit, let's do it. In we go. Beautiful. All right, we need some more. Filling up the bat, boom. And there we have it, boys. The bat is fully corked, and now we are going to fill it up with the glue, and hopefully it holds. Because this this bat is hot. I think the hole goes down to about right here, so kind of about half the barrel, but it's gonna definitely make a difference. So, uh, actually, you know what? It goes down to about right there, which is actually pretty good. I wish we could have made it down to like here, but uh, that'll work. That'll actually work there, but let's glue this bad boy. All right, here's the wood glue. It's white for some reason, but it'll work. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the umpire might be able to tell that this is not uh, <laughs> not tampered with at all. Uh, definitely not trying to hide the fact that we corked this bat, but I'm gonna put a little bit more in. Yeah, this is so hard to eat. It's so hard to squeeze out, but that should be enough there. Rub it around. I feel like this is actually gonna work. All right, so the bat is officially corked up. It's glued. Now we just gotta let it dry, and then uh, once it fully dries, we will hit the balls with it. So I'll see you in a second. Actually, probably like now. Whoa, that was sick. We went back in time, but now we're back in present day America, and uh, we have the cork bat. It did dry. This is what it looks like. Um, not noticeable at all. But yeah, we're gonna run this thing through a couple of tests off the tee, how far I can hit it, how high I can hit it, how fast I can hit it, all that crap. We're gonna be comparing it to the Albert Pools Marucci. I wish we had two of these, but unfortunately we don't. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try this Thing. Let me know in the comment section below if you think the cork bat is actually going to be better. Test number one. We're going to start out with the normal American Marucci bat. I don't know why I keep saying American. It's like baseball in America. I really don't know why. I don't even know if Marucci's American, but we're just going to say it is. But yeah, we're going to start with the American baseball versus the American bat. I really don't know, but I do like America, USA. But here we go. Baseball versus normal bat, not corked. 
Well, that was an absolutely terrible, god awful hit. Let's do one more. That was terrible, bro. All right, we're obviously gonna go again with the normal bat. Uh, that was a terrible swing. I'm not warmed up. It's a hunt, no joke, it's 111 out. 111, but here we go. Tap number two, I guess. That ball is destroyed, my God. Okay, well that is gonna be a nice one to test with the corked bat. That ball literally went 473 feet, plus or minus six inches. We're going to the cork bat now. All right guys, here's the cork bat. Oh man, hopefully this doesn't break. I mean, we drilled it out, filled it with cork, wood glued it, and now we're gonna hit a ball. Hopefully it works good. Hopefully it goes farther. I don't know, that ball was crushed, but here we go. It's actually pretty good, my God. Okay, um, I don't know if that went farther. Um, it was kind of hit a different spot, so we're gonna go one more with the cork back just to see. Go far, baby. The tee is broken right in half. Awesome job there, Mighty Go. What the F am I doing, bro? Boys, I think I'm trying too hard. I think I'm trying too hard. We're gonna go one more here with the cork bat. Hopefully I can actually hit the freaking ball this time. All right, attempt number three, because I can't freaking hit the ball good. Come on, please go straight and go far. Okay, nice little line drive base hit. Uh, that definitely went farther, but I hit an absolute missile. Uh, we're gonna go one more, just cause, you know, it's baseball, I like hitting balls, so give me one more. All right, here we go, attempt number 7,000. Please go far, please. Oh! Yeah, I still don't know if that one went farther. I really don't know, but that one felt pretty good. All right guys, so the next test we're gonna do is we're gonna go lefty, okay? I smashed a couple balls righty, but now we're gonna see if I can smash a couple balls lefty. Let's do it. Up first, that's right, the American Marucci. Oh, right up the middle. That's a good hit. I mean, you can't complain about that. That is good baseball right there. Little bat flip, bang. All right, next up, we're just gonna do one hit, okay? Why not? I mean, we hit a bunch of balls righty. Now we're gonna go to the cork bat, lefty. See if we can hit a ball farther than that one. I'm gonna try to drive it up the middle so we can actually see, compare the two. Right up the middle, my God, dude. What a beautiful hit. Look how much farther that thing rolls. Wow. All right, so far, the uh, the Louisville Slugger cork bat is actually winning. It won righty and it's winning lefty. We're gonna go one more lefty just to make sure. Another solid base hit. I'm gonna try to get under this one a little bit. See how far I can hit it. God dang it. Hit the tee, but that ball still is hit pretty freaking good. Not bad. All right guys, so far we've done one test and it was distance, righty and lefty. And honestly, the Louisville Slugger won both of them. I know maybe I hit the ball better with it or whatever, but we did it like 10 total times. And I'm pretty sure most of the time, the Louisville Slugger, the cork bat actually won. But now we're gonna test speed off the bat and see if the ball actually comes off the bat faster. And this bat is actually way cheaper than the other one. So it is, it's not a quality thing because that bat is way more expensive. So that one's got the quality, but this one's got the cork. So we're gonna see the speed now. Hopefully the cork bat is still winning, but let's do it. Marucci bat is up. 49. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that was not 49, but we're gonna go again. 77. That's more like it, baby. 77, woo! And now we're gonna go to the Louisville Slugger Cork Bat. Let's see, hopefully this one goes higher. Go. 70. All right, so somehow <laughs> our handy dandy crappy little radar gun said 70. That was not 70. I guarantee you the last one was hit harder, but here we go. We're going again with the Cork Bat. 81. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Wow! All right, so once again, the uh, the Louisville Slugger won again. I just said once again, won again. I don't know. But I mean, it's completely unfair. This one's definitely getting more chances, but we're gonna go again with the Marucci and then the Cork Bat again. See which one goes harder, round two. 77. 76. Jesus, all right, well maybe it is 77, 76. All right, off to the cork bat. All right, so the Marucci bat, the non-corked one is sitting right around 76 to 78. It hit a 77 a couple times, but this one went over 80. So we're gonna go again, see if we can't hit 100. That would be amazing, but here we go. Oh my God. 54. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and say that was not 54, but I'm definitely not getting that ball down. God dang it. 55. There is no way, that's 55 miles an hour. All right, we're gonna go one more time. It keeps saying it's 55. There's literally no freaking way it's 55, but we're gonna go one more time here. Hopefully this one's like 86. 86 is my goal here. 
75. 75. Mother effer, dude. How do I hit it 80 miles an hour and then I go down below that? What the yeah? Bro. All right, so yeah, now for our like final test. We've done distance off the tee, speed off the tee, and now we're gonna go distance by throwing it up. All right, throw up. Attempt number one. Oh yeah. Great pitch, even better hit. Let's do it again. Oh ho ho! Get in the hole, baby. That's not bad. That is not a bad test right there. We're going to the course bat now. Hopefully I hit it farther. All right, here we go. Whoa, course bat. Right for that barrel out there. Ah, roll me over. That's fine, that's fine. You know, the normal bat had two chances. We're going again, come on. Burn. I think it went farther, boys. I don't know, I gotta go shag all these balls, which is gonna freaking suck because it's like 112 out. But one sec. But yeah, guys, we just shagged up all the balls out there, and I'm not gonna lie, uh, it's pretty freaking hot. It's like 112 right now. Um, it's, yeah, it's hot, man. It is really hot. If you guys thought that the cork bat was actually gonna win, congrats, you guys are victorious. This ball right here, actually, I don't know if it was this ball, since I threw all of them in the bucket, but it might have been this one, I don't know. But the cork bat actually did hit the ball farther. Yes, it had more tries. Yes, it was at a advantage the whole time, but, by the title of the video, can a cork bat go farther, or whatever the title is. It actually can, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna run this test once again in the future. We're actually gonna have a live pitcher throwing balls, and we're gonna take a couple hacks on it with the normal bat and then with the cork bat, just to make sure it actually goes farther. So stay tuned for that, and yeah, like I said, that is gonna end this video. If you enjoyed it, slap a like on it if you need to hit that sub button. But there's one thing I gotta take care of. Let's go. What are you doing up there? God dang it! Come on! God dang it, I hit it even farther in there. Woo! Peace out, Boy Scouts.